don't lose your JR Pass or your Regional Pass. If you lose your JR Pass or Regional Pass, they will not be reissued. So make sure you retrieve your pass when passing through the automatic ticketing gate. In fact, we just talked to the JR office about this and they were surprised at how many people lose their passes and end up purchasing new ones because it will not be reissued. So again, please do not lose your pass. Do keep your JR pass in a safe place. What I do is I keep the whole family's passes all together in my purse. I hand them out to each person right before we pass the ticket gate. Put it through, okay, that's fine. Get it on the other end. Did you get it, Otto? Okay, go. And as soon as we're through the gate, I collect them and put them back into their safe place. Do purchase an IC card when you arrive at the airport in Japan. This could be a Welcome Suica card, a Pasmo passport, or some other IC card. It will make riding local trains and buses a breeze as you won't have to figure out the cost and you won't have to pay cash for every single ticket. Do consider getting a digital IC card if you have an iPhone, since the physical IC cards are in short supply. Sorry, the digital versions are not currently available on Android phones unless your phone was purchased in Japan. Don't rush to catch the train. Running on the platform can be dangerous to yourself and other passengers. Do arrive early for your train and wait in line on the platform. If you have a seat reservation, make sure you wait in line for the correct car of the train. If you can't figure out where your car will stop at the platform, you can go ahead and board the train and then walk through the train until you get to the correct car. Don't just sit in any open seat on a reserved car. The train will make other stops and there's a good chance the seat you're sitting in is reserved by somebody else. Do sit in the correct seat number and car when riding with a seat reservation. Show your reserved seat ticket if asked, but don't leave it on the train. Do sit in any available seat in an unreserved car. If there are no seats available, you can stand. Don't sit in the priority seating on a local train unless you actually need it. The priority seats are reserved for those who are disabled, injured, elderly, pregnant, or carrying a baby. Do buy an Ekiben to eat on the Shinkansen bullet train. Ekiben means station bento box. There are kiosks selling a wide variety of these Ekiben and you can buy drinks at the vending machines or convenience stores. There are a lot of options at the train stations and sometimes even on the platforms. Don't eat or drink on local trains as it's usually not permitted. Do make it easier on yourself by purchasing Shinkansen tickets online. The JR ticketing offices can have very long lines and you can wait up to an hour. And if you use the ticketing machines, well, they can have really long lines too. And when you feel that pressure, you might be rushed and make a mistake. I've done it. This brings us to Kluke, the sponsor of this video. It's easy to book transportation on Kluke. Simply select your departure station and your arrival station. I'm going to do Odawara to Kyoto for after we visit Mount Fuji. Around 10 a.m. sounds good. I'll select a reserved seat. Then I can select the number of adults and number of children. Kluke offers multiple different forms of payment and is also translated into many languages. It's also a great place for purchasing regional passes such as the Hokuriku Arch Pass. You can watch our separate video where we explain why the Hokuriku Arch Pass is the best regional pass for visiting the Golden Route. We'll leave our Kluke affiliate link below where you can purchase single journey Shinkansen train tickets, limited express train tickets, JR passes, or even attraction tickets for places like Team Lab Borderless, which we recently visited. When boarding a Shinkansen bullet train, do store your luggage in the overhead rack or at your feet. If you made a special seat reservation that comes with an oversized baggage area or compartment, then store your bags there. Don't store your bags behind the last row of seats on Shinkansen trains as those are most likely reserved. Don't bring oversized bags onto the Shinkansen trains without making proper reservations when traveling on the Tokaido, Sanyo, Kyushu, Shinkansen lines. This is from Tokyo to Osaka, Hakata, Kagoshima, Chuo. Oversized bags are those with a total dimension of length plus width plus depth of over 160 centimeters to a maximum of 250 centimeters. Don't bring too much luggage onto local trains as they can be super crowded and you may have to stand while holding onto your suitcase. Don't block the aisle with your suitcase no matter which type of train you are riding, Shinkansen, Limited Express, or local train. Don't put your bags on someone else's seat. Don't leave trash in your seat. Do throw away your trash and bottles when getting off the Shinkansen bullet trains. You're expected to clean up after yourself and have your seat ready for the next passenger who'll be getting on. Do be respectful of other passengers regarding noise. 
Turn the volume to silent or wear headphones when watching videos or playing games. Don't talk too loudly on the train. Don't talk on your cell phone while sitting in your seat. If you're on a Shinkansen and you need to make a phone call, you can go to the area between train cars to use your phone. Do gather your belongings and line up at the door when you hear that your stop is coming soon. You'll hear Mamanaku. The train stops very briefly, sometimes as little as one minute. Don't leave personal belongings on the train. We have been guilty of this and luckily we were able to retrieve our items at the train station. It's best to carefully look around your seat and up on the luggage rack to make sure you don't leave anything behind. Do make a seat reservation if you plan to ride in a green car. This applies even if you have a green JR Pass because green means reserved only. The good thing about this is it means you will definitely have a seat. Do make seat reservations in advance for busy times of year such as cherry blossom season. Seat reservations can be made up to 30 days in advance. Do know the major loop lines, the Yamanote line in Tokyo and the loop line in Osaka. Both of these lines will help you get around these cities easily. Do make a plan in case you get separated from your group in the busy crowds. Agree upon a meeting spot, especially if you're relying on one pocket Wi-Fi, which means that once you get separated, you'll no longer be able to communicate. This is why we also get an eSIM while traveling in Japan. If that didn't make any sense, be sure to watch our videos explaining getting a pocket Wi-Fi versus a SIM card. And finally, do enjoy your train trip. It's not as difficult as it sounds. It can all seem overwhelming when preparing for your Japan trip, but once you're there and you get the hang of it, riding the trains in Japan is not that hard. Up next, you may want to watch our video about the best train pass for 2024, or our video explaining how to travel Japan by train without the JR Pass.